last year, we began to look for uh, a way to get our employees involved in, in the business. And in that uh, review, we decided that we were going to use the breakthrough process, which is supplied by Robert Schaefer and Associates, to use that as a platform uh, to engage employees at all levels of our business. In that process, teams are given skills to uh, build capacity in a process to let them challenge uh, how we are doing business and let them also then present a business case for uh, uh, making change. We began Breakthrough about four months ago at Boro. Uh, in that process, we put four teams together to look at opportunities that were facing our business. Uh, last week, uh, the Breakthrough teams uh, made their 100-day report outs. And in those report outs, the team identified about $5 million of additional value uh, to our business for this year. The people from our team came from procurement, mine maintenance, mine operations, mine training, and mill. When the project first started, I think our availability was at around 58%. The whole team got together and uh, we've, uh, we've discussed and we've came up with a plan to increase those availability to 85%. When we had the team meeting, the first kickoff meeting, all of us discussed and spoke and an analyzed the problems with the dozers. Now, the number one issue that came up was the uh, operator not following procedures. What that meant was that our people, especially the maintenance people, were complaining that the operators were using third gear while pushing dirt. So in order, in order to fix this, we came up with, with a solution, and the solution was to lock the third gear. Now the second problem was when the dozers were down, they have to they had to wait for parts to arrive, and that took a long time, which had a huge impact on the dozer availability. So what we did was we've created a list of fast-moving parts, and we've or ordered those parts and st stacked it at the warehouse. We've worked with the maintenance department and we've updated the PM sheets. What this means is that. When a dozer runs for a number of hours or for a number of periods, it has to come to the workshop and has to be maintained. Uh, the second thing we did was we, we have a new low boy on site that's arrived to carry the dozers from point A to point B because sometimes when the dozers have to tra travel long distances, due to vibrations, uh, it tends to damage itself. And also we've or ordered uh, new radios for, b for better communications between the operator and the foreman. Within two months time, we were able to get to 86%, which was a huge increase in dozer availability. The rental cost for the do dozers has been uh, dropping significantly. Also the amount of uh, our expenditure for spare parts ha have been have been declining, so uh, I'm sure we saved a lot of money for the company. This experience has been tremendous for me. Uh, just the, the, the knowledge that I've learned, the, the different processes in the procurement, in, in maintenance, in mine operations. Just like me, I'm sure all of my team members have had a tremendous fun. I'm sure they've enjoyed this project. I'm sure that they've, they've learned a lot. Um, just, communicating with people, um, job management, task management, and just different processes as well. Our objective uh, of our team 
was uh, to reduce uh, vehicle accident incident by 90% within 100 days. Having analyzed uh, accident incident for, for last year, we f found that uh, almost over 60% of them is caused by unsafe driving or lack of experience or carelessness. Something like These three uh, criteria was the uh, highest three. So we focused our attention to deal with these situations and started training, improving our competency, our skills of our drivers. We first we set up a training area, improved competency of drivers. Uh, we paid a lot of attention of uh, borough site traffic rules, replaced uh, old traffic signs, uh, distributed modern traffic uh, rule books. There were some difficulties uh, concerned, mostly uh, uh, roster, roster schedule of our team members. But uh, gradually, all team members get together and we managed to achieve our goal. We, uh, during this 100 days, we managed to reduce uh, accident incidents by 57%, which is our main goal. Before we started a workout of breakthrough, the company used to spend $300,000 just on repairing after accident incident consequences. After we reduced by 57% of the accident incidents, we saved those money. Yeah, on our team we had uh, two, two members from maintenance, three members from procurement, two members that were uh, with the mine, mine foreman. Our main objective was to increase excavator availability to 85%. Um, when we started I think it was around 66%. That was our main goal and as well as that we were to reduce rentals by 50% and also delivering sort of more availability to the mine, so getting more throughput, etc. We sort of originally started out um, by setting ourselves a target, of course, a goal, a main goal. Um, then we sort of uh, all got together and broke down that goal into a series of uh, smaller projects, if you like. Um, and we sort of put each person in the team, we gave them a sort of a role trying to get as much information on that topic together so we could come back into a, a group setting and then discuss how we were going to attack or action the, the, uh, the smaller goals. We've reduced rentals by, by our target plus a little bit more so we managed to get 55% um, obviously with, a, with help from other departments um, so you know you're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars saved in rental equipment um, and if it's sustained, you, you, you're basically moving into the millions. The, the main objective that I, I personally got from it was um, a, lot of, a lot more communication within departments. And I think obviously the cost savings for the company. Some of the guys when they, they began the um, process were very, very timid, very shy. So I think there was a lot of self-confidence. Um, that, that increased a lot in our team, especially in a, in a couple of members. You, you find out people that um, you thought were very quiet, didn't have much input, are now actually standing up and being heard, so the potential there is great. Our team was mined to mill optimization breakthrough team. Our goal was to achieve 311 tons per hour by March 15th, 2007. That was our 100 day goal. We had team members from all different departments. We have HR, um, geology, mill metallurgy, mine operations. I would say communication was the, uh, one of the biggest challenges we faced, communicating with each other communicating with other departments. For example, uh, loader operators didn't communicate with mine operations about their blend information. So what we did was we uh, gave a tour. They give an induction or orientation to mine employees to mill so that they can understand what the process, how the process goes in the mill. And they also have a channel so they can talk to each other on the radio 
benefits for the company will be if we sustain this goal of 311 tons per hour. If we sustain this goal until the end of this year, then we'll be contributing $4.5 million to the company. It's a big contribution to company, but most importantly, people learn a lot. They are confident, they're comfortable, and uh, they will sustain the results. Everything they learn, they will carry it, uh, uh, even after borrow. In round two of rapid results, there are five breakthrough teams. Um, two thirds of the round two team members are new to the process. Um, we expect them to learn and embrace the same teaming skills, leadership skills that the round one teams learned in that process. Um, round two is continuing on. Some of the projects um, that were recommended were outcomes from the round one teams. Um, we're striving for sustainability in the process. So, for example, blast optimization was something that adds a lot of value to the business. Um, we looked at that as part of several round one teams were unsuccessful really at um, completing that project. So that's an important part of round two. contractor safety and management. That's an important part of round two because we're mobilizing hundreds of uh, contractors onto this mine site. So we have to uh, manage them properly um, to ensure that uh, they operate to the same safe production standards that Boro Gold operate to. The biggest uh, outcome of round two, as in round one, we believe is going to be uh, leadership and development skills team development skills, personal development skills. And these are all sustainable skills that our company can, uh, can take into the future with us and for the future of Mongolia, in fact. The teams have been performing for the last 100 days. And it has been very gratifying to see how these teams have developed, uh, both as teams, uh, but also how the team members have developed uh, on an individual basis, exhibiting uh, leadership in taking on challenges uh, and trying to improve uh, the business. Uh, in fact, uh, they will significantly impact uh, how uh, Boro performs this year and we're looking forward to uh, continuing this process as we go forward.